Hey guys, welcome to my first, uh, is this my first unboxing? No, the, my second unboxing. Yes, this is my second unboxing. Look at me, look at me expanding the programming here at Nikki Star TV. I am here today um, about to unbox my first, hopefully, hopefully my first of many finger comber wig. As you guys know, I'm a working actor out here in Hollywood and being a black woman in this industry is ridiculously hard uh, for a myriad of reasons. One is that nobody knows how to do your hair on set. So I've been dealing with a lot of issues of trying to, you know, trying to like repair my hair and get my hair healthy from a lot of, you know, issues on set, just having people who do not know how to work on my hair. Uh, you know, just messing around with my hair. I remember walking on set one day and going into the hair and makeup trailer and the hairstylist looked at me and said, ooh, fun hair. I get to play today. What? Not on my hair. Incidentally, she actually put something in my hair that like messed it up and I had to cut out a bunch of my hair. So I am like back in the stages of like, you know, regrowing it. So I went looking for a few wigs because one of my girlfriends, she's an actress as well out here. And she was just like, girl, I don't even let them touch my hair. I do wigs. And I was like, really? Because I haven't really found any kind of natural wig that I felt could really work for me. And uh, she gave me a few places. And then I started doing a bit of research on YouTube and on the internet. And I found finger comber. Like this was one of, from the pictures and from what I've seen on Instagram and on YouTube, I was really pleased. I was really pleased by what I saw, especially the uh, kinky curly afro unit. This is the one that I will be unboxing right now. So I hope that I get these same results um, from here. Let me hope you can see it. I'm hoping that this wig in this box looks like this on my head. Pray for me, Lord, because I will, you know, this is a good unit. I wanna get more. You know what I mean? It's an investment in my career, so I will do what I need to do to, uh, you know, get my career popping and also protect my hair. I'm, guys, I'm telling you, she put like some, some mousse slash spritz, something that did not work for my hair, and I immediately felt it. As soon as she sprayed it, my hair was like, oh girl, oh girl, this ain't it, this ain't it. And it's still kind of recovering. We're, we're doing better, it's getting there. It's getting there, but I'm hoping that, you know, this is a good unit for me and something that I could wear, you know, not just for on set, but you know, in my everyday, in my everyday life, you know what I mean? Cause I just want to leave my hair alone. If I could find a couple of good units and just not touch my hair for a year, that's the goal for me. I just want to wash my hair, put it in some braids or two ponytails and just put it in, put it back and just wear wigs. So that's the goal for me. So if this is a really good wig, I will definitely go to the site and buy some more because they're inexpensive. This one, I had a coupon because I signed up for the first time. So I think it was like a 10% or 15, 15% off coupon. And I got this with shipping and handling and taxes for I think 75 bucks. It wasn't a lot off, but that LA tax always hits me. Any coupon I get, I'm like, uh, it'll look like a great deal till you hit that LA tax. That Cali tax ain't no joke. All right, so I finally got the box open because I was fidgeting with it. Ooh, ooh, okay. I'm liking how it's looking. I'm liking, so, ooh, it's a lot of hair. So, oh, that's it, just that, just the wig. Okay. Um. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> oh gosh, walking myself. So this is what it looks like out the box. I, I'm not mad at it. At it. I, I, it does kind of look like, yeah, I'm not mad at it. Okay. Because I saw a couple people who had some um, not so good unboxings, but I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Let's see what it'll look like on. What's in this? Ciao. I do think, um, I don't know if it's going to have a very long Long wear life though, that's the only thing. I want something that I could wear for a while, but I don't know about that. So this came with it. It is a little information on the Kinky Curly Afro. It says this unit is quite simple and easy to care for. For best results, finger comb the unit 
when needed to detangle be careful when separating the curls at the tips in order to avoid excessive frizz shampoo and condition in one easy step by using afrogenics curl keeper conditioning shampoo for units and extensions or your favorite conditioning shampoo to shampoo detangle the unit and dip into a basin or a large bowl containing two quarts of tepid water and three te and three teaspoons of shampoo Cleanse gently, pat dry, and allow hair to dry completely before wearing. Enjoy. I love that. I love that they sent how to care for it and what they use on the hair to care for it. I uh, <laughs> I live in a bougie area, so I know that my local Sally's, <laughs> Sally's Beauty, That okay, that shows you. That shows you what I got here. I might have to go to Inglewood to probably get the Afrogenics curl keeper conditioning shampoo and they just say that for the shampoo they don't say anything about um a conditioner to you so i think they just want oh so i think they just want me to use like um an all-in-one you know what is it called like a pre-poo not a pre-poo what is it called when you just use conditioner to wash your hair a cleansing conditioner, something like that. So I think that's what they want us to use. I think I'll use my, oh, I'm not using my Amica. No, I'm not using my Amica on the synthetic wig. Anyway, I like that they sent this. I really, really do appreciate that because that lets me know how to care for it. Cause this is my first like, you know, curly girl unit. So we're gonna see, let me prepare my hair. Okay, so this is as flat as I can get my hair right now. My sister is my hair braider. So until she gets home, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's put this bad boy on. Oh, that one lost the front. Is this the back? Whoa. There's no instructions. I don't know where the front of the back is. Since we're here, let me show you the inside of it. So the inside right here is a cute little, has the has the name, finger comber etched in there. And then we have, let me see if I can show you. And then we have the combs right here and right here. And then we have the bands, the, uh, the wig bands to, you know, adjust it to your size. So combs and bands right here. Hope you can see that. Um, since this is like, oh my gosh, see, I normally wear half wigs. So I never wore like a full wig that wasn't like, you know, a dollar store performance wig. So I hope I'm putting this on right. I'm gonna go with this way. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, this seems like it, right? Yeah, this seems like this is the right way to put it on. I wish they had some instructions with that. I should have went to the website or her YouTube channel. All right, let's see. I'm nervous. I want this Lord. Please let this look cute on me. Because I need some wigs and I want to support a sister. Oof. Oof. Woo child. Well, this, this is fitting. This is fitting. Um. Okay. This it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. I I don't know if I could wear this to an audition. My agent would kill me. Let me see. I feel like I gotta play with this a bit. I mean, I hope I have it on the right way. I mean, it's not. It's not bad though, right? It's not bad. I just feel like I have to find, I gotta find how it works. I don't think it's bad. What do you guys think? Let me try to fix this. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> so I got it to this point, right? Um, I don't think it's bad. I just think it's a lot of hair for me and I'm not used to it. Um, but I'm not mad at it. This is the thing, like, I feel like it's just a lot of hair. It's just a lot of hair. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair, but I like it. I like it, though. So this is the thing, like, I don't look bad in it. It's just a lot of hair, and I just don't think that I'm used to it. 
you know what? Let me check her YouTube page and see how um, Finger Comber recommends putting on this wig. Because I just did it on my own, but I want to see how they recommend it. So I'm going to go to their website or their YouTube page and look and look at their video. And then I'll come back with my results. <laughs> you know what? Let me just look at it right now with you guys here. So I just pulled it up. And through watching it, I realized what I did wrong. They actually have some of your real hair left out. But I don't want that, so I feel like if I don't, oh, I don't want that, so I feel like if I don't, I don't leave my hair out, this is what I'm going to have to get. And I don't want to cut it, but I feel like I'm going to have to cut it, but I like it. I don't know. I'm going through something. I'm going through something. It's like, I feel like the hair is too much, but I look at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, this is cute. This is cute. This is cute. Come on, babe. Like, I like it. I like it. I like it, but it's just too much hair for me. You know what I mean? Like I, this, this could not be an everyday audition wig. This is a going out wig. This is, yeah, let me, let me just try to do it how they do it on their YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, so this is the instructions that I was given off of the Finger Comer YouTube channel and their, and their YouTube is just Finger Comer. So they recommend that I not do what I did, um, but they recommend leaving some hair out for this unit. Uh, with the part, my part is janky, but you know, I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, leaving some hair out and pinning the rest of your hair to the back and then putting the wig on right at the base where your hair is left out at. So this is what we're going to do. I don't even know how to put wigs on. Do you start from the back? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start from the back and then put the comb right there right there okay leave it in okay mm -mm. Mm -mm. am i doing something wrong and then leave this out oh i gotta i have to dye my hair i'm just realizing it is not the same color Toss a coin to your witcher. Okay. Um. Ooh, valley of plenty. Valley of plenty. Toss a coin. Y'all. You know what? I'm going to just have to play with it. Because I don't like this. I like what I had before. I like what I had before, and I feel like I followed the instructions. I'm just like, you're the same results! Damn, damn, damn! Yeah, this ain't working for me. Um, Let me go back to a style that I like so that I could wrap this review up and give my pros and cons. Because right now, I'm not in a good place where we're at with this right now. So let me go back to the style that I actually felt like I could work with. If I was at Afropunk, hold on. So here we are. I got the uh, Finger Comber Kinky Curly Afro Unit in Onyx. Let me start off with my pros. One, it's a black owned business. A black woman actually creates these wigs. I'm always looking, especially when it's anything concerning my hair, I'm looking for a black owned business, specifically a black woman, because I just feel like I'm your customer, you know what I mean? Especially if you have natural hair, we have the same kind of hair, we're working with the same kind of issues. You get me, I get you. Let me go on ahead and give you my money, right? Second, it's affordable. Uh, the wig on itself is about $88 when you add your taxes and shipping and all of that stuff, it adds up. Like I said, I signed up for the first time with this company and I was giving a 15% off coupon. I also love that as well. And throughout the year, specifically during the holidays, 
she does have a lot of great cells so that you know you can get multiple wigs if you were eyeing multiple you're able to get multiple if you're eyeing them because she gives a lot of great deals my third thing is that the website the youtube and the instagram for finger comber gives you options it allows you to see how the wig looks not just on the owner but also on the customer so if you have a rounder face a narrow face a sort of boxy face <laughs> Praying for you if you got a boxy. No, no shade. But if you want to see what the wigs will look like on someone who has your similar features, similar skin color, similar, you know, uh, uh, head shape, you know what I mean? If you're looking for that, you have those options. So I really enjoyed that. And my fourth pro is the quality. I think it's a great quality. I think it's a, it's a synthetic wig. I think it's a great quality. I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it. I love the volume. I love the bounce of it all. I love how easy it is to install. This just feels really good. Like I, I love how I'm feeling it, right? I really, really do. Now here are my cons. The size. I feel like because these are handcrafted individually, like no wig is the same. Um, from what I saw on the website, from what I saw on Instagram and what I saw on the YouTube channel, I just did not understand the sizing. This looks a lot bigger, a lot more volume than what I saw on the website. So I was just not expecting all of this hair. And that's my only con, you know what I mean? So the pros for me outweigh the cons when I figure out a system and how I can really know what I'm getting, because they do have a return policy. I'm not gonna return this. My really good friend is a hairstylist. I'm gonna get him to shape this wig for me because I'm not mad at it. It's just the size, the volume is too much for me. And I just want this back to come up a bit because I, I feel like I'm kind of getting a, um, a curly girl mullet and I don't like the mullet. I just want it to be shaped and I want a little bit of volume taken out so i'm not going to uh return this wig because like i said before the pros outweigh the cons and, if, and as you can see i can't stop looking at myself okay so the pros outweigh the cons for me i just the volume i just wasn't expecting it i was not expecting the size i wish it just was more accurate representation of how the wigs will actually look but again when you're buying online it's always a crap shoot you just never really you know. just don't know you know what i mean you, it looks one way, it gets back to you another way. It's a lot different than seeing it in store. So you're always taking a risk when ordering online. I'm glad I took this risk. This is a wig that I need. I will be looking at other wigs on the site. I will also be searching for a place in my area where I can actually see the wigs. I feel like I'm somebody with buying like wigs. I feel like I need to actually see it. I need to try it on. I need to find something that really fits my face before I make the purchase. But I will continue to buy online. I will continue to, you know, shop with Finger Comer because I wasn't disappointed. I just was, you know, not expecting so much volume, but I like it. I do. I really, really like the wig. And once I get it shaped, I'll come back and I'll show you guys, you know, what I was at, what I actually wanted. Even still, I don't think I could wear, even when it's shaped, I still think it's way too much volume. And I don't think that this is something that I could wear to audition, so I'm still on the hunt for an audition wig, but I enjoy what I have. This will be a night, nice, you know, girls out wig, especially when I just don't feel like it. And I know I got something right here that I can throw on and, you know, be the belle of the ball. I'm here for it, I'm here for it. As you can see, I'm like, my personality is changing, okay? Foxy Brown, how you doing, honey, baby? <laughs> and on the back of my mind, I like it. I like it. I'm just, again, I just was not expecting the volume, but overall, like I said before, the pros outweigh the cons. What do you guys think of this wig on me? It ain't shaped yet. It ain't shaped. I'm going to do a follow-up review, uh, maybe like in a month or so. Uh, cause you know, it's pilot season. So my friend is booked and busy. He can't just come over here and chop this up for me real quick. So as soon as I'm able to, you know, get him on the line, we're gonna take care of this wig. But let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think? What do you guys suggest I do? Have you ordered from Finger Comer before? If you have, what was your experience? Let me know. I need all the help that I can get, obviously. You know what I mean? I need tips and tricks and I need them quick because it's pilot season 
and I don't have time to waste. Thank you so much for stopping by Nikki Star TV. And if you like what you see here, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in another review for something amazing. Love you guys. Bye.